The giant knoll stands before you, tracking your every move. You look at your party for reassurance, reaching back to draw your faithful... You know what, actually, uh, before you rush in trusting your life to a single weapon choice, let's check out the arsenal available to you to ensure you come out swinging on this episode of Handbook or Helper. Don't know how to play? We'll, we'll show, show you the way! Handbook! 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 Handbooker Helper! Handbooker Helper! I'm Brian, Master of Arms here at Critical Role, and if you're like me, you sometimes get overwhelmed with all the amazing stabby smashy options that D&D 5e offers its adventurers. Today we're breaking down the basics of what makes all these weapons so wonderfully awesome, and how to best choose your new best friend for battle. Now, unless you're planning to just pick up the odd table leg or broken piece of glass and fight with what are called improvised weapons, you should be aware that true weapons are divided into two categories, simple and martial. Most characters have no trouble picking up a simple weapon to get the job done, such as a human farmer with a hand axe or even a goblin with a spear. But if you want to use more advanced weaponry, like those used by trained military units, such as a flail or a rapier, you are going to need proficiency with martial weapons to be able to use them effectively. <laughs> you see, your weapon proficiency can be earned by numerous things, including race and feats, and most notably, the class you choose to pursue. All of this reflects the weapon focus or tools that you are most likely to take into battle, allowing you to add your proficiency bonus to any attack roll you make with that weapon. When shopping for a weapon, you usually start by figuring out how you want to bring the pain to your enemies. You could get up close and personal with some hand-to-hand -hand action using a melee weapon, or reach out from a distance with a ranged weapon. Now, just so you have this in the back of your mind when choosing, typically, melee weapons rely on your strength ability score, and ranged weapons utilize your dexterity ability score. You're even able to add your corresponding ability modifier to the to hit, and damage sections for that weapon. Now, if you want to be able to switch using your strength or dexterity, or are a melee fighter who is far more dexterous than strong, then look for a weapon with the finesse property. You see, finesse allows you to choose between your strength or dexterity scores when using that weapon. Within the categories of weapons, there are many shared and some more rare properties assigned to each weapon or group of weapons. These will help guide you on the best choice for your character and the opponent you're trying to defeat. We'll stop here for now, but we'll get more into those special properties in a future episode. Now go show that Noel who's boss! Handbook! 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 Handbooker Helper! Handbooker Helper! Ding.